today we are going to set out units for this project the dimension star title block layers and finally we are going to import furnitures from autocad library and some from an external library the thing we have to do is to set out our units to be able to set out our units we type in units press enter and um on that type i want the units to be decimal and the precision i want it to be 0, 0.00 i want um the insertion skill to be in meters and um, I want it to be international. Then I just click OK. So my units are all set up. If I want to check, I just have to come to measure and uh, move inside. So you, as you can see, our, our units are well set. After setting up my units, the next thing I want to work on is on my dimension style. So I'm going to come on this bar and look for annotate. On the annotate, I'm going to where they are written here standard the first thing that appears here standard i'm going to open up to it and um, i'll go to manage settings and my font name to be times new roman so i'll look for times new roman and um, click there and i'm going to set as current and close the next thing i want to do under dimension style is i'll come where there is dimensions here and i'll see an arrow drop drop down i'm going to click on that arrow and it's going to pop up my dimension style manager I'll click on modify and um, the first thing I'll work on is on the lines. The lines, I'm going to navigate down to baseline spacing and I'm going to put my baseline spacing to be 3.75. And um, I'll come down to extend beyond line dim. Here I'm going to put 1.25 and observe from origin i'm going to put 0 0.625 then i'm going to fix extension lines to one which is okay then i'll move to the next one here called symbols for the symbols i'm going to navigate down to my arrow size and i'm going to put my arrow size to 2.50 and i'm going to come down where there is center mark and take mark for the center mark i'm going to give it 2.50 and for the break size which is down here i'm going to give it 3.75 um i'll move to radius junk dimension i'm going to put it at 45 and um, the linear junk dimension height factor i'm going to give it 1.5 which is already there which is okay I'll navigate to my text the next part here to the text and um, for my text height I'm going to put it 2.50 so I'll come to text placement on the text placement the first one I'm going to use is above for the horizontal I want it to be centered and for the view direction I want it to be from left to right offset from dim line I will put it to be 0 0.625 and I'm going to choose the ISO standard so as you can see our dimensions are adjusting here and make so i'll move to fit and under fit i'll just come to overall scale of instead of one i'm going to put 0 0.10 and uh, i'll move to fine tuning and draw dim line between extensions then i'm going to move to primary units and um, it's going to be unit the unit format will be decimal the precision i'm going to use it to two decimal places 0, 0.00 and i'll come down to scale factor which is 1.0 and it's okay alternate units and um, i won't set anything from there so i'm just going to allow my alternate units like that and i'll move to tolerance and i want my method to be none of the methods and vertical position i want it to be from bottom then i'll click on okay then i set the dimension style to set as current so our dimension style is set up so if i want to dimension and i click on annotate i just come here and click dimension you are going to see that we have a very nice dimension here we have 7.45 which is in times new roman and our dimension is set up the next thing i want to work on is on the layout tab so to put our drawings on the layout tab i'm going to come here down to where the model space is i'm going to see a1 landscape which is the one we imported with I'm going to delete that one because we will not need it so i just right click and come to delete and i'm going to delete that one and um, 
The next thing I'll have to do is I'll have to add a plus here under this plus layout tool. And under layout tool, I'm going to right click and um, go to from template. That is it here from template. And I'm going to get a template that we'll be using for this drawing. So I'm going to come on a sheet set and um, so I'm going to choose here architectural metric. And I'm going to open it up. So as you can see, the drawing is an A1. But we want all our drawings to be in A4. So I'm going to right click on this drawing. Come where there is page setup manager. And where there is ISO A1 here, I'm going to select ISO A1 and click on modify. Then I'll come to paper size and change the paper size to ISO A4 210 by 27 this way. Then I'll click on OK. When I click on OK, I'm just going to close it and we are going to see something appear like this. So now this title block is bigger than the drawing. So I have to scale it. So I'm going to highlight on all the drawing by right clicking. And um, I'm going to move here to home and uh, choose the scale here. and drag from this point to where I get the drawing full. So as you can see, we have adjusted it and it's now taking our A4 size. I'm just going to delete all the extra dimensions that are found on the layout tab. All the extra dimensions, I'm going to delete them. And we'll have something like this. So I'm just going to move to the layout tool and delete it because we will not need it anymore. Layout one and also delete it. And we'll have just ISO A1. So I'm going to rename the ISO A1 to be my ground floor plan. So I'm just going to write GF as ground floor plan. So when we take the template from AutoCAD, one thing it does not have, it, it does not have the model space. So anytime we create a layout tab using a template from AutoCAD, we don't have, it doesn't have a model space. So to be able to do a model space, I'm going to add a layout, maybe layout two and um, look for the model space in layout two. For example, if I click here, I'll see that this is the, this is the model space because it has an arrow going down here. I'm going to right click on it and take, come down to clickboard and take copy. Then I'm going to navigate back to my ground floor and paste the model tab that I have just taken from the other drawing. So it's going to tell me to take a, a square where I'm going to fit it. So I'll prefer it to start fitting from top here. So we have something like this. I'll just paste it and um, I'm going to drag it out to fit out my space. Other space just enhances us to be able to get the drawings from the layout tab. For example, let's try to put the drawing inside the drawing that is already on a model space. So let's try to put one of these drawings inside an A4 paper. We are just going to come to ground floor plan and um, I just have to look for the ground floor plan and zoom into it. So here I have my ground floor plan well placed. And if I change this space to paper space, you see that it's already there. So when we have annotated all our plans, we are going to put them in this format and just export. The next thing we also want to look at is how to be able to put, fill in information into the title block. So to be able to fill in information to the title block, I just double click on any of the information. And it's going to tell you project. You should give the project name in four lines. You are going to give the date of the project, which is already up, which will update with the date of your machine immediately. But you can change it. The skill, you can put the skill and the sheet number. Maybe your ground floor plan is drawing one. You put that drawing one. So here I'm going to come on that project name. We are doing, uh, the first thing I will put under the first list is the design of. So I'll put design of. The second line I'm going
a one story residential building as you can see the ground floor plan is too long so you can go back where there is a ground floor plan in the ground floor so you can just say floor plan the next thing i would like to do is to bring in furniture in to this project so to be able to use autocad furniture i'm going to type dc and press enter and um, i'll come where there is buildings up here and uh, navigate to enus the next thing i'm going to click is my design center and um, i want to put um, chairs in the parlor so i'll come where there is home space planner and blocks okay so for this project i'm going to need a bed so i'm going to double click on bed and okay then i'm going to place the bed outside of the drawing so i'm going to look for a place at the drawing and place the bed i also need um a chair deck so i'm going to copy one and put it So you can so you can use the AutoCAD library and place your dining where there's dining, you just copy your dining table and put there your bed, you put in your bedroom, your library, you fit with your library things. But we are going to import um GI's template and um GI has a template, which is this. I have just opened the template on my AutoCAD file. I'll just copy the template and bring it into the drawing. I'm bringing to so I'm just going to copy GI template and bring it into the project and I'll extend this line a little bit outside so it doesn't disturb me okay from the beginning we said we are going to set our units we are going to set our dimension styles we'll do our layout which we have done and we'll do our blocks and the blocks we'll do the one from AutoCAD which is the AutoCAD block that we've imported we're going to use in this project where we are documenting for the ground floor plan the first floor plan and the sections and um, we also have a GI premium uh residential template the advantages of using gi template is that uh, you don't have to set units again you don't have to set dimensions everything is just set to gi template so when you export from archicad to autocad you just draw directly and you open the gi template from autocad i want to draw directly from autocad everything is already customized you don't set units you don't set dimensions everything is already made for you and uh, your residential things that you need are just perfect for you um doing plumbing electrical and the others are very easy because everything has been customized for you so but gi gives it out at two dollar and but it's not a necessity for you to use it so you can use the autocad library which we have exported the blocks here so we will use we will put a bed from gi library you can take your normal bed here and put it will be okay and um, the project will also be cool so for the next video we are going to document the ground floor plan we are going to do the interior dimensions the exterior dimensions and um, we are going to place it on the layout we we'll see our dimensions here and um, we are going to equally set the colors as we want them to be professional we are going to annotate the drawing if you did enjoy this content please make sure you subscribe and you like we also like to hear what you think about the video on the comment section. If you have any worry, you drop it down on the comment section. We are going to get to you. Thank you.